in the uniform of the San Antonio Spurs. Live from the Palace of Auburn Hills, it's the Pistons and the Spurs. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting night of NBA basketball. George Blaha, along with Kelly Trebuca, here at the Palace, and San Antonio comes in with now two superstars, really, in David Robinson and the Worm. They're an up-and-down team, though, so far. Well, they've been struggling, George, particularly at the offensive end, only scored 91 points a game. John Lucas, though, feels that this team will come around. They're getting good shots. He feels that sooner or later, those shots are going to start falling. They'll be back on stride. As for Dennis Rodman, well, he's helped them from last in the league in offensive rebounding last season to fourth in the league in offensive rebounding in the early going. What's it going to be like for him to come back and play the Palace? What's it like playing against my old team? It'll be just like playing in practice, just like practice. You know, they're going to try to, you know, keep me at the lane, going to try to hold and grab just like anybody else. And uh, I'm not going to take no pity off of them. You know, I gotta go out there and do a job, and my job is to help San Antonio win a ball game, not to go out there and be friends with Joe and everybody on the court. That's after the game. You know, my job is to go out there and try to beat those guys, and that's what I try to do. And uh, they know I'm coming out there, uh, loaded gun. I'm gonna have the eye of the tiger. I'm gonna be in a combat zone. I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll. Hey, I'm sure of that. Dennis is excited, though, to be sure to be back in the Motor City tonight. He has a heck of a teammate in David Robinson. Well, the Admiral is one of the best in the league, scoring over 26 points a game. He's pretty much been their offense so far this year, George. Here he's first in the NBA with 4.9 blocks a game and fourth in the NBA, as we talked about, almost 27 points a game. He's a, he's a true all-star. He's the one they rely on. He's the one that's been carrying them so far. Kelly, the Pistons with their victory over Orlando two nights ago, snapped a four-game losing streak, and their record is now three and four, two and one here with two more games on the homestand after tonight. They did complete the Alvin Robinson trade this afternoon. A couple of young players come to town, very talented young players who have yet to really prove themselves in the league, but nobody's saying at this point that they can't play, that's for sure. Marcus Liberty, a forward, who was a great, great high school player, can run the floor, and he can shoot the ball, and the defensive-oriented Mark Macon. Gone is Alvin Robertson. On the injured list now with a hamstring is Tracy Moore, which brings us to the Kelly Trapuca play alike, I think, in many ways, Sean Elliott. He's playing against his old team also. Well, Sean's got a lot of incentive. Obviously, whenever players are exchanged, they love coming back and playing against their old team. Right now, Sean's first game since the trade tonight, obviously, he scored 19 points a game and seven assists, which he had on Wednesday night against the Magic. He's one of the league's top shooters at the three-point line. They find him. He's getting his feet set. He's doing a wonderful job. I think Don Chaney's very happy with this trade, and I think the Pistons are also extremely happy that they have Sean Elliott on their side. Now how about your boy Bill Lambeer the other night? After all that happened, comes off the bench and absolutely gets the Pistons all they need to beat the Magic. And uh, here he comes. Better late than never. Dennis Rodman has just entered the arena here at the Palace. More cheers than jeers. You know how hot he's going to try and make it for the Pistons tonight. The Pistons had the two young kids, Lindsey Hunter, who will start in the place of Isaiah at the point guard spot, and Allen Houston. Both seem to be finding themselves. Make no mistake about it, though, these two kids can play. More in a moment from the Palace. It's the Pistons and Spurs coming up on the Pistons Television Network. More than all roads, flight 23. Jamarellas on the fly, or say, can you see? 23 banks right on a non-stop flight. Gives you the tongue, touch you in nighty night. 23 on the jam scam, on the slam bam. Excuse me, ma'am, on the cram. 